Hey everybody, Kenan Phillips here back with another TT School video. And before we get started on today's lesson, I want to let you guys know about a contest we're running. So we're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers for our YouTube channel. So we haven't done a lot with YouTube in the past, but we're putting out more and more content each week. Uh, and all you guys have to do to enter is subscribe, so click that subscribe button. And then once we get to 3,000 subscribers, we're going to draw a name at random, and that person is going to win a full set of Project X and or True Temper Golf Shafts. So it's gonna be wood shafts, iron shafts, wedges, all the way through. All you have to do is enter by clicking subscribe. We, uh, we really appreciate it. This is fun for us to do and hope you guys are enjoying this content. So let's get into this week's video. So in this video, we're gonna cover our hazardous smoke line, our even flow riptide line, go over the differences between those two product lines and the players that those would best suit. So when you're thinking about choosing between either even flow riptide or hazardous smoke, I want you guys to really think about the tempo of your swing. So these are how we kind of separate our lines here. So if you have a more aggressive tempo, you're going to tend to suit into a hazardous smoke shaft better. And if you have a smoother tempo, you're going to tend to suit into an even flow riptide shaft better. And that just comes down to the profiles of the shafts. So our hazardous smoke shafts, all of them have a parallel butt section. So what that means is that butt section is not going to taper in diameter for a while. So it's going to maintain a very stiff butt throughout and help keep up with that aggressive swinger just a little better. And our even flow riptide shafts are going to have a constant taper design. So from that butt section on down to the 335 tip, they're going to taper the whole way up. And that provides a really smooth feeling shaft and a shaft that just works for a lot of players that don't load it that easily. So that's why when picking between those two lines, I really want you to think about that tempo, like I said, that load you put on the shaft, not necessarily how fast you swing it, but how you swing it fast, if that makes sense. So our hazardous smoke line, of course, has our hazardous smoke black, which is gonna have a very stiff midsection and stiff tip design. Our hazardous smoke yellow, which is gonna be a counterbalanced offering within our hazardous smoke line. And then our hazardous smoke green, which is going to be our stiffest design throughout. Then we have our Evenflow Riptide series, which has our Evenflow Riptide and Riptide CB. The only big difference between the two is that Riptide CB is going to be a counterbalance version. And so our Evenflow series, like I said, is going to be a little smoother geared towards that smoother swinger. And it's going to have a softer tip design than our stiff tip hazard shafts. So I hope this video helped you guys out a little bit when trying to decide between our Evenflow line and our hazardous line. So like I said, I really want you to think about aggressive tempo when you think hazardous and a smoother tempo when you think Evenflow. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you next time.